Today we are going to set up single sign-on for Nextcloud using WordPress as the identity provider. Now let's configure Nextcloud as a service provider. Open a new browser tab or window, and log in as the administrator of your Nextcloud account. Click on your profile icon in the top right corner. Select Apps. From here, search for SSO and SAML authentication. Click on Download and Enable. Now, click on your profile icon in the top right corner. Select Administration Settings. In the left menu, under the Administration section, click on the SSO and SAML Authentication menu item. Click on the Use Built-in SAML Authentication button. Under Global Settings, enable the checkbox to allow the use of multiple user backends. Scroll down, go to the General section, and fill in the details. Enter the attribute to map the UID as email. Please note that the attribute name is case-sensitive. Next, enter a display name for the identity provider. This display name will be visible on the login page. Go down and configure your IDP settings here. Navigate to the WordPress IDP plugin and click on the IDP Metadata tab. Copy the IDP Entity ID. Paste it into the Input field. Navigate to the WordPress IDP plugin and copy the SAML login URL. Paste it into the input field. Now click on the Show Optional Identity Provider settings. Again, navigate to your Mini Orange WordPress IDP plugin and go to the IDP Metadata tab. Copy the SAML logout URL. Paste it here. Download the certificate from the IDP Metadata tab. Open it in Notepad. Copy the content and go back to the Nextcloud window and paste it here. Now see if your metadata is valid or not. Once it is valid click on the Download Metadata XML button. In the login using the WordPress Users plugin, navigate to the Service Provider tab. You can upload your SP Metadata XML file or the SP Metadata URL to configure the service provider. Click on the Upload SP Metadata button. Enter the service provider name of your choice. Paste the upload metadata file. Click on the Upload button. Settings saved successfully. Now go to the Edit option of the configured service provider which is Nextcloud. Scroll down and uncheck the Response Sign checkbox and select the Assertion Sign checkbox. Now click on the Save button. Further, navigate to the Attribute, Role Mapping tab. In the User Attributes section, under the Name column, type Email. Then under the User Metadata column click on the drop-down list and select the User underscore Email field. And click on the Save button. Open a new incognito window and visit the Nextcloud portal. You will be redirected to the login page of Nextcloud, where you can click on the custom SSO button with the display name you have provided. You will be redirected to your WordPress site for authentication. Enter your WordPress credentials and click, Log In. Upon successful authentication, you will be logged into your Nextcloud portal. Congratulations! You have successfully configured Nextcloud, SAML single sign-on with WordPress using the WordPress IDP plugin. Check out WordPress IDP plugins for premium features like, attribute mapping, role mapping, etc., single logout, custom login page, many more. Thank you for watching this video.